Hi, and welcome back to part two of installing a bilge pump in Arwen. As you can see, I'm here in the garage. It's a bit cold, I must admit. And what I'm going to try and do in this next part of the video is assemble the bilge pump uh, mechanism uh, before then going to install it in the boat. Now, if you remember, what I'm looking at here is putting a bilge pump uh, using a portable battery into a box like this. All right, so that I can move it around. So it's a Whale Orca 500 bilge pump. It's a 12 volt um, sealed lead acid battery, which will go inside this container here. So it'll go in like that. And then it will have also in there a fuse, um, a switch at the end, all right, and it will be wired up so that I can then move it around different parts of the boat. Um, this is because Arwen has um, a cockpit which is split into two halves, and what I want is something that I can move about to take out rainwater, splash water, things like that, um, whilst I'm sailing. So here we are then, here are all the components. So over the next 10 or 15 minutes, we're gonna try and assemble all of that so it goes into the sealed box and then put the tubing on very first thing to do then is to position the battery inside the box so that um, I can work out where um, the tiny switch is going to go. Now I want the switch to go somewhere just here so I'm going to push that battery in so it's just clear and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a marker pen and I'm just going to alter the battery slightly so that it's up against there and I'm just going to mark off on there where the end of the battery comes to. And now it's going to get a little bit noisy because what I'm going to try and do is drill a hole so that that switch there sits very nicely just inside the battery box. Okay, we've uh, made the hole for the switch and we're just going to clean that up now with a file. Um, and then um, see how the switch installs. Okay, there we go, and the switch should now very nicely just push in and fit there, and uh, when we put it in finally, we'll seal it in, but that's quite a nice position. And if we just check, the battery should then just slide in there and we should still be able to get the actual lid on. So that's a nice installation. We'll put a piece of foam down here to protect it to stop the, uh, stop the battery sliding back as well. That'll stop um, any damage to the switch. So there's the first bit done. Okay, we're just going to put on a crimp and a spade connector. So I've just taken the wires apart and sleeve off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat slightly and I'm going to put this into here, push it through so it comes out a little bit at the end. And then what I'm going to do, which is a bit strange, is I'm actually going to take a pair of pliers and I'm going to actually flatten this one down a bit. So and then, just to finish that off, we're then going to wrap a piece of green tape around it, um, just to uh, seal it in. So we'll quickly do that as well. And then that means that the spade connectors under the switch can go up against each other without bending the prongs of the switch, because the fit is a bit close otherwise. Okay, so the next stage then is to um, solder it. And what we're going to try and do is get that into there quite nicely. So we'll just... This is where I'm not very good at electronics, I must admit. So i am always got heart in mouth when I'm doing this. But that seems to be going in quite nicely. So we'll just let that cool for a second or two and have a look and see and that seems to have sealed just in there quite nicely. And we'll leave that cool for a sec or two. As you can see, we've now got two spade connectors soldered onto the inline fuse holder. So we're now ready to move to the box bit. 
Now this is a three-pronged toggle switch and if I remember rightly on this uh, what we've got here is that this outer brass one is the negative and the middle one is the positive and those are the two that I'm going to be putting the spade connectors on. Okay so we're just going to put this on to the positive which is the middle one. Okay and now what we're going to do is we're going to put the switch back into its position and we will just put a little bit of sealant around there and that switch then should all being well lie right out of the way when we put the battery in so we'll just test to make sure that that's all going to work okay so if we slide the battery in we've got enough space to actually secure it and straight away we're okay So it's moment of truth time then. I've um, connected everything. Let's see whether or not it works. So we're going to, um, as you can see, I've got the fuse already lined up to the battery. And I've also got the negative end um, attached to the battery as well. And what I'm going to do now is, if this works, then that should go onto this end spade just here. So we'll just clip it into place like so. As soon as that's on, if I flip the switch, we should hear the pump go. Ah. That's sounding quite positive. Done the soldering, so we're now just taking some um, uh, mastic um, sealant. And we're just going to spread that very quickly around the outer edge here. So now, the moment of truth, we are going to um, wire everything up and we will see what it is we've got here. And now, if we very gently pull that through, that should just close up nicely there. And there we are. That's the first bit of the pump. Let's just check. Yep, so that's still working fine. Okay, self-contained, and we've still got um, plenty of wires to get it to wherever I want in the boat. So I'm quite pleased about that. There we go, all sorted and done.